In this tutorial, we're going to take some footage that was shot outside at the beach in the wind and replace the audio with another track that was done in the studio. We will use Twixter to lip sync via time remapping the footage so that we'll match the new audio track. Please note that in this tutorial we are talking about lip sync, but this method can be used to sync video to any alternate track, whether it be music or some other audio that you want to match specific video frames with cues in the audio track. Let's take a look at the original shot. This is Christopher Holly from the Christopher Holly Rollers. I shot him playing one of my favorite songs that he does called Dance All Day at the beach. Unfortunately, it was a windy day. You can hear the wind blowing over his singing. This is a problem that occurs regularly when you're doing an outdoor shoot. So let's see how Twixter can fix it. Now let's go to our Final Cut Pro project and listen to the new audio track we will use. You might notice that this is an electric guitar and there are also some drums. This will just add to the character of our final. We're also going to do some speed ramping for an artistic effect. We'll turn to Twixter and animate the frame number in the output control to sync the video to the new audio track. We can go back to traditional animation lip sync techniques to accomplish this task. Let's take a look at basic lip sync. This involves correctly timing the mouth open and the mouth closed positions. Think of your old favorite cartoons. Take a quick look at the basic mouth shapes we will look for on Christopher. Since we're going to use frame numbers for retiming, we will want to view our timeline with the frame numbers instead of the time code. You can watch the Twixter Speed Ramp and Fit to Fill in Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial for a detailed description on how to change the timeline mode, or you can always look at the Final Cut Pro 10 documentation. Okay, now let's get back to business. What I did was I went through the original shot and marked down the first frame of the beginning of the first word sound, and then marked the last frame of the last word sound. Then I go through the middle of the phrase and mark main keyframes phonetically like you would do when making an animated character speak. First, we can detach our audio from the clip since we know that we're going to replace the audio. We do that by right mouse clicking and selecting Detach Audio. Now we can add the new audio track. and we can make this new clip a compound clip. We'll go inside the compound clip and add Twixter as we've seen in the last few tutorials. You should at least watch the overview tutorial first so you know the basic concepts. We can go to the inspector and put the display on source. We can change the time remap mode to frame number. We played the original audio and video sequence and we listened and added markers to the frames that correspond to the audio cues for when Christopher starts to speak a word and when he ends a word of a lyric. Now when we look at the new studio audio file, I listen to this and add markers to the corresponding frame numbers for the same start or end of word. Let's go to some of these keyframes. We will start by putting the playhead at zero and in the dialog box, setting a keyframe of zero to map the first frame of the source to the first frame of the output. Now let's go to the first sound of the dialog. He starts by singing, when the morning sun comes up. So I had marked the w sound on the source and the same on the audio. It's frame 228 of the new audio. Let's go to frame 228 and enter 224. So now Twixter will make frame 224 of the video sync to frame 228 of the audio track. Let's keep going down the list. Now we want the P sound of up. And that's at frame 295 of the audio track. Let's go to frame 295 of the video and enter frame 280 in the dialog box to sync frame 280 of the video to frame 295 of the audio. 
Let's do a couple more before we check out our result. The next bit is warm kisses on your face. We have the w sound again at frame 400 of the audio track. We go to frame 400 of the video and we enter frame 375 to remap the video. And then the last word is face, so it's the s sound. The audio track keyframe is frame 480 and we will go to frame 480 and set frame 458 of the video to that. Let's go ahead and check out our results so far. We'll put the display on Twixter to output and it will render the video and the audio. That looks the way I would expect, so I would continue doing the same pattern of going to the frame of the audio track that has the next audio cue and type in our corresponding video frame. Remember, if we need to trim or transition the twixtered clip, we will need one more level of compound clip to protect our retiming. Now I can just grab the edge and drag it to where I want it. Let's look at the result. We have shown how to lip sync audio and video using Twixter in Final Cut Pro 10.